Have you ever had a conversation with somebody that remembers everything you talked about? Something about a month ago, maybe even a year or even two ago, where there's something about them that makes them attractive. And unless they're geniuses and remember everything, they're doing some of these five things to retain more information. How's it going guys? My name is Jesse Escalante with Design Your Lifestyle Online. Retaining information has been one of my biggest difficulties, so I went on a long quest to find out more ways to retain more information. From all that information, I wanna to bring to you five great ways, okay? Five ways to retain more information. So let's dive right into the first way that you can retain more information, and that is people retain more information if it interests them or it affects them. In sports, for example, maybe basketball or football, you know how many touchdown passes Tom Brady had in the last three years. If you love football, if you love the Patriots, then you know information like that. Maybe you meet a lovely person, maybe it's a girl, maybe it's a guy. You remember that name because she interests you or he interests you. Now on the flip side of that is how things affect us. So for example, if you have a job, you gotta know how much taxes you're gonna pay for how much income you make. If you're in school, you need to know a specific formula so that you can use it to solve the problem. Without the formula, you can't get a good grade, so you will retain that formula. The second way to retain more information is by repetition. Something that I've done and I still continuously do is I put a song in repetition. If I wanna learn the lyrics to the song, I'm gonna hear it over and over and over again. Actors, for example, repeat the same lines over and over and over again so that when they are in the set, it flows down so smoothly. It makes the director's job much easier knowing that they did their job and they played their part and possibly get more gigs because of that. The third way to retain more information is by debating on it. Debating, what do I mean about that? Well, if you found out a stat, something about maybe that more college students are unemployed, then you can tell that to somebody and they'll say, no, I don't think that, well, this is the pro of college or this is the cons of going to college. By debating on it and seeing other people's opinions, you're gonna retain more information because you're actually communicating with somebody else. There's a lot of topics to debate about and a lot of people are afraid to talk about them, but if it is interesting, if it's something that will affect us, then you will go and talk to those people because their input or their opinions could be beneficial for you. Going on to the fourth way that you can retain more information is exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm sharing it and I'm teaching it. I learned more about this subject on how to retain more information, so I'm sharing it with you guys and I'm teaching you exactly little steps on how you can also retain more. A funny stat would be about Napoleon Bonaparte. A lot of people think that he was actually really short, like five foot two. He actually wasn't that short. He was about five foot six inches. And the fifth way to retain more information is by focusing on that one thing and implementing it. For example, as a soccer coach, I can give you five steps to hit the ball much harder in contact. You can take those five steps, write them down, but go implement them. That's the important part. Focus on that one thing that I'm telling you right now, which is how to retain more information. And I gave you five steps. Go take those five steps and implement them so that you can remember more names of people. Maybe you can remember more things that you read about in that book. It's important to know that it's one thing to take in all this information, but the most important thing is to apply. So if you got any value from this video, do number four, which was to share it and to teach it. If you're watching on Facebook, make sure to like and share, but if you're watching it on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification tab for more content like this. Also, don't forget to check the first link below so that you can see how I've been able to make more content like this. I really appreciate you guys watching this content and I hope that you got some value out of it. My name is Jesse Scalante with Design Your Lifestyle Online and we'll talk very, very soon again. Goodbye, guys. Thank you.